How's everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning into the channel. We're going to talk about the new update and real speed rebalancing. So, totally freaked me out the first time. So, I was excited to get the new update. And yes, I went straight to Sabine River and did some catfishing. Didn't really notice about the real speed because I was fishing close and doing drop shots. So, switching back to bass fishing. What is going on? Do I need to take my rod and reel in for repair? So I was quite shocked. So I had to do a little testing to figure it out. So two or three is like the new one. Five is fast. But there is a catch. So to get your deep dive and crank baits. I used to set it to two or three. Get it down real fast. Switch it back to one. And just retrieve it all the way in. Now you have to set it to five to get it down but now if you get your lure in front of a big fish, you can change it to one or two and keep it in front of them longer and hopefully triggering a bite. And to me, this is a great improvement because before with the diving crankbait, if you stopped reeling in, it would probably immediately start going to the surface. So setting it down to one or two, keep her in front of that fish for longer. So drop a comment below and tell me what you think. Were you totally freaked out like I was? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you not like it? Do you got to get used to it? That's the game now. So maybe they'll change it again. But there is some advantages to it and I've been trying it out today. So let's take a look at the new speed. So I'm on three. I'm barely getting it down. It is going down but it's pretty slow. But this is like one I guess on the old way. If you go, Oh what? What is this? Is that a blue catfish swimming in Lake Guntersville? This might turn into a catfishing video real quick. Oh, I'm not even using my big pole. This is my bass fishing rod and reel. Well, I don't hear the heartbeat, so he is not a trophy, but he's a big one for sure anyway. And I'm glad to catch one in Lake Guntersville. All right, let's get this big old boy in. Sounds like we must be close to our airport. Sounds like a jet plane flying overhead. I think he's tired. Nice, look at the head on that catfish. That's some good fillets right there. 68 pounds, three ounces. So not my biggest, but I'll take that in a day. So let's get back into some bass fishing. We're going to demonstrate some more reel speeds. See what the reel speed looks like on a diving crankbait on like the one and two speed. We'll start at level three, maybe work our way down and just demonstrate the different speeds. Oh, come on guys. I'm trying to make a video here. All right, let's try this again on reel speed three. I'm going to slowly work it down. I don't always want to get it down all the way to the bottom as quick as possible. Sometimes I like to take my time, work it slow all the way down so you can see what fish are there. Find the fish, locate the fish, catch the fish, repeat. So it is working nice and slow all the way down to the bottom, but I am on real speed three. So that's like the new one or two, I guess you can say. I, come on. I'm trying to make a video here. Now I got a bass with a heartbeat. So let's switch over to a swim bait and we're going to work it real slow right near the edge. Keep it in front of the fish as long as I meant to do that. I like to sneak it in behind the fish so they don't know what's coming. Let's work it slow. So we're now on real speed two and it's going to. It looks like it's pretty constant, but it is staying in that little pocket for much longer than it was before. So the slower reel speed now, you can actually use it. So before I was running everything on one, couldn't really go slower, but now we have the option to go even slower. So as always, feel free to drop a comment. Tell me what you think of the new reel speed. Always, always share with me your catches. What's your favorite lure? Because I love to try out new lures and exciting ways to catch bass, catch some catfish. If you know how to constantly catch channel catfish, let me know how you do it because they bite on so many different types of lures, but I haven't found one lure that's consistent. 
So as always, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on fishing, stay happy, and I'll see you next time. Big fish, big fish, and no whammies.